Tragic circumstances surrounding Liam Payne's death, security footage reveals fainting before fall. In a heartbreaking development following the untimely death of Liam Payne, new reports indicate that Argentine officials have in their possession security footage showing the former One Direction star fainting moments before falling from his hotel balcony. The incident occurred on October 16 at the Casa Sir Palermo Hotel in Buenos Aires, where the 31-year-old singer tragically lost his life, leaving fans and loved ones in shock. Local journalist Paula Varela discussed the gravity of the situation on the Buenos Aires-based TV show, Socios del Espectáculo. She claimed that the video, which has not yet been released to the public, supports the theory that Payne was unconscious prior to his fall. There is footage that is not being released to the media with the balcony scene, where you see that Liam faints and tragically, because of where he is, falls from that balcony, Varela stated, emphasizing the tragic nature of the accident. She elaborated, if he had been beside his bed, he would have fallen on his bed. It's not that he jumped deliberately. This assertion aligns with earlier statements from Buenos Aires authorities, who noted that Payne's positioning and injuries indicated he likely fell while in a state of semi or total unconsciousness. Upon discovery, hotel staff found Payne dead in the courtyard just moments after he fell. Investigations revealed that he had suffered multiple traumas that caused both internal and external bleeding. A preliminary report from the National Criminal and Correctional Prosecutor's Office confirmed that Payne sustained a cranial fracture and other serious injuries leading to his immediate death. Although authorities have not explicitly confirmed whether drugs were a factor in his fall, substances and paraphernalia were reportedly found in his hotel room. A toxicology report later indicated that Payne had multiple drugs in his system, including crack cocaine and a substance known as pink cocaine, a blend typically comprising methamphetamine, ketamine, MDMA, and other recreational drugs. Eyewitness accounts from hotel guests described Payne's erratic behavior in the moments leading up to his death, including an incident where he reportedly passed out in the lobby. One American tourist recounted witnessing Payne's distress, noting, there was an incident where he was very frustrated and was smashing his laptop in the lobby, and then the final time he came down, he actually passed out in the lobby of the hotel. This incident paints a troubling picture of the singer's state of mind during his final hours, as he struggled with the pressures of fame and personal demons. Liam Payne had long been open about his battles with mental health and substance abuse, which were exacerbated following the breakup of One Direction in 2016. Sources close to the singer indicated that he felt lost without his bandmates, often describing him as heartbroken and struggling to cope with life after the band. He was heartbroken and never really recovered, a source revealed. Reports also indicated that Payne had previously suffered at least one overdose, requiring resuscitation, highlighting the severity of his struggles. Payne is survived by his parents, Jeff and Karen, his sisters Ruth and Sarah, his girlfriend Kate Cassidy, and his seven-year-old son Bear, whom he shared with ex-partner Cheryl Cole. His passing has left a profound impact on his family, friends, and fans, who remember him not only for his music but also for his candid discussions regarding mental health and addiction. As the investigation continues, fans and the public are left grappling with the loss of a talented artist whose life was marked by both incredible success and personal challenges. The tragic circumstances surrounding Liam Payne's death serve as a stark reminder of the importance of addressing mental health and substance abuse issues, especially within the high-pressure world of fame. If you or someone you know is struggling with substance abuse, please reach out to the SAMHSA helpline at 1-800-662-HELP for support and guidance.